Hey guys, welcome back to the Amateurs Tech channel. In this video, we're going to talk about how many ways you can send free text on mesh static nodes. On traditional way, we always need the mobile phone with the app to send the text message. And with the new base UI, we can send the free text message. Uh, so in this video, I will show four easy ways to with the standalone devices with the keyboard or other switchers. The first one is named the card keyboard is from the M5 stack so you can easily uh, connect the connector pin to your mesh tagging nodes with the groove connector uh, this is the traditional way but now with the standalone device we can send with the up down encoder the rotary encoder the joystick and uh, another way this is T9 keyboard uh, let's back to the topic the second one it is the up down or rotary encoder and uh, you can see this is named the Mesh Tiny. It has the switches here, you can rotate, you can push it. This is the uh, counterclockwise or the clockwise. So when pushing it, we can score with the menu. And when we in the uh, present message, choose the free text, you can see a full keyboard here. Uh, you can switch, push the left to move the switch, move the cursor to the left. Uh, we can pull like the Hi. Uh, when you long press the uh, switches left or right, it will go up or down. You can see. Let's let's choose hi. And we can go to enter to send a message. Yeah, the message is already arrived on other devices. And the other way is the rotary encoder. You can see. The frame goes with the scoring, and we can also choose press down to choose the menu, and we can choose the pre reply with preset, and also go to the free text. Uh, you can see the same keyboard here. We can also say uh, hi or some other things. Uh, in this time, I will put input a number: one, two, three, four. That's it. We can go score down. Uh, from left to right and line by line. Choose the enter to send it. Uh, this is the up down encoder and the rotary encoder. And the third way, it is the joystick devices. Uh, this is a joystick. You can see it's a five way, five way direction up, down, left, right, and uh, press to trigger the push. Uh, like the menu or some other sending functions. This is the GAT uh, GAT562 Pro and this is the L1 device L1 Pro from the Seed, Seed Studio. You can see uh, when we score or push the menu up or down it will automatically score with the latest firmware. And this is the same. Uh, we can go up to the message message tab and press menu and reply with preset go to the free text uh, this is the same way you can scroll left or right or push to trigger to trigger the uh, letter or hold on to send the uppercase now that's it we can send it yeah already arrived here And the fourth way, it is the T9 keyboard. This device is, is named 4B C1. Uh, you can see there are some labels that are printed and stepped here. Uh, this is the Nokia style uh, with the uh, 12 keyboards, 3x4, 3x4. And to enter the message, um, we just need to press for several times. For example, the devote it is the 1, 2, 3, 4. Or if we need to input another, uh, such as the A, we need to press press twice. And if we need to input the J, K, the K, we need to press three times, triple click. You got it. And zero. And double click to input the space. And nine, eight, and two. Delete the last 
uh, last character, we can long press the last button. Yeah, and when we uh, rotate the rotary encoder, you can move the cursor. Uh, when we press down, it will send a message. Mm, that's it. Uh, this all four kind of device can use as a standalone device, and you can send a free message, free text message without a phone. Uh, that will make things easier. So, uh, how do you like it? And what's your favorite um, standalone devices? You can leave your comments uh, about your device and how do you like it and how do you use it. Uh, that's it. This is the video uh, for how many ways we can send a free message, uh, free text message on my settings. That's it. Thanks for watching.